I, I do believe that we have to live with COVID-19 uh, and uh, the, the same as I get a flu jab every uh, September, October of every year because I'm, I'm, I'm a diabetic and that's the way it is, uh, same way we'll get a COVID-19 jab come that time as well. And, and it's been a very, very long, hard road to recovery. And I, I think I want to put on record very clearly my, my thanks to government uh, and, and to the Health Minister, Matt Hancock, uh, and, 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 and indeed to my own uh, Health Minister, Northern Ireland, Robin Swan, for all that they have done to, to keep us safe over this uh, last period of time. It's very, very important to put that on record. I understand that the uh, weddings are seemingly an issue for many, and certainly hard for me and for my constituents as well in the hospitality sector. Uh, uh, the wedding attendance is allocated via the risk assessment of the said venue. Self-distancing is, is to be uh, absolutely critical to make that happen. And, and there are so many wedding venue, venues that can increase their numbers and have extra numbers there uh, because of the, of the distance they, they can have when it comes to self-distancing. Weddings are the most significant <coughs> day for couples, and there's nothing more heartwarming than seeing your guests smile with joy. Uh, the self-distancing has made that happen. Um, can, can I make a plea to the Minister for, for churches? Uh, I, I do it because I'm a, a regular church attender, uh, but I do it for everybody else who, who also attends church and would like to do so. Um, uh, we, we know that we have to self-distance in church. We do know we have to wear a mask in church, and we understand that. But I'm just wondering, are we getting to the stage, Minister, where perhaps maybe uh, it will be a stage where we can attend church and we don't have to wear a mask? Again, I ask it as a question. Uh, is it possible, if we're, if we're adhering to the, the, the social distancing person, when you go to a restaurant and you don't have to wear a mask, it seems a wee bit perhaps maybe for churches that the same rules should apply. And I would request easement for, uh, for the, the weddings in churches as well. Uh, again, not every church would have the capacity for self-distancing, I understand, to have a wedding, but there are many who would. Uh, and and, and I, I believe that there, there's a way forward uh, uh, safely to do that. Um, uh, I, um, uh, tourism is a, is a crucial sector for our economy, where again the restrictions are blurred and many are left confused. And I just make this, this request again to government. The issue with tests and passenger locator forms are discouraging people from booking holidays, uh, not to mention that Portugal was taken off the green list. Uh, I, I, I don't say it as a criticism to the Minister, but I just make the point that maybe we need more clarity in relation to that. Uh, and and uh, the focus needs to be on making travel more accessible and efficient to encourage those to travel, even if it is within the United Kingdom. Um, a constituent of mine has recently left for work in the EU where he was charged £85 for a PCR test. Uh, not to mention the test requirements for when he comes home. Could I ask the Minister again uh, if, it, if it's possible to review this approach, allowing lateral flow tests that are acceptable in our schools to be acceptable for travellers? I, I make the point for the, um, I believe this is still more efficient travel, where travellers can save money and travel with less hassle. I make a point as well, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, for, for those who, who, are, 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 who are tour operators. Um, uh, and, and, and the buses, we know all the problems with buses, they can't self distance in the bus and then be a, be a viable, uh, but, but is there, and, and I would make a, a plea uh, that if we're going to have it for another few weeks, which we are, um, I believe that will be the, the intention of, of us here, that we can make sure uh, that th those uh, businesses are protected and the jobs are secured. Uh, I also, Mr Deputy Speaker, uh, in, in, in the short time left, uh, make a, a plea for live music. Uh, for the live music, for which I believe is crucial to many aspects of life in itself, for us personally, but also for for the venues, for the hospitality sector, for weddings, for for concerts. I appreciate there's always a risk of singing. I know when I sing, Mr. Deputy Speaker, or Madam Deputy Speaker, uh, the rain usually comes on. Uh, I think the, the, the Bible says uh, about, uh, uh, about sing, uh, make, make a joyful noise. Well, I make the joyful noise. It's never melodious, but it's always joyful. Uh, it's always loud as well. Uh, I would love to be able to sing in church again. It hasn't happened. It's not likely to happen in the near future. But I understand for those who, who, who are uh, involved in live music that there's a real need to have that. So o over the next four weeks, I, I just make the plea uh, for, for businesses to ensure as we move forward and move forward together uh, that we can ensure uh, that those businesses can be protected and, and, and that they can ensure that they have the, the, the support that is needed f f through the furlough. I understand the vaccine rollout is a part of any moving forward and I support that and I welcome younger people getting their vaccine and to me this signal has been able to move forward uh, safely and this is what we need to do. So I fully support and fully appreciate 
the Prime Minister and Government uh, are, are being careful and cautious. To use a, a, a saying that we use in Northern Ireland often, it is better to be safe than sorry, and it is better to be safe than sorry today. So I, I will be supporting uh, Government and what they are putting forward, and both the, the votes that they come forward, because I believe it is right. I, I believe that we can do it for another four weeks, you know something, and we get to the end of that, and the vaccine is a more, there's more people in vaccine. And, and, and confidence will be restored, and if confidence is restored, then I believe we must all be in a better place. I, I know that's not the opinion of some, but it's the, certainly my opinion and the, and the opinion of some others and, and my party as well. So I want to ensure that government support it, and we'll be, I'll be supporting it tonight as well. Thank you.